Welcome to Blue Compass, where we're diving into the struggles of social media marketing today, which, as you may know, can be incredibly frustrating. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, or any other platform, posting content and then hoping and waiting for results can be a discouraging experience. So today's question addresses that. Why is it so difficult to drive sales on social media? Whether in person or virtually, we do a lot of speaking engagements here at Blue Compass. And one of our most frequently requested presentation topics is how to boost sales on social media. Understandably, businesses really want to learn more about that. They want to drive sales and profit through platforms like Facebook. But many of us are really still captive to an outdated view of social media. Around 2006, 2007, platforms like Facebook and Twitter really started gaining traction, sorry my space, and businesses got the idea that they needed to be on social because all the cool kids were doing it. Plus, it sounded like a pretty great deal to post content for free and have followers see it. That's a great way to advertise products and services, everyone thought. In fact, it sounded so good that many organizations decided that social media marketing was the only form of digital marketing that was necessary. And around this time, I remember a lot of social media marketing companies popping up, hoping to join in on this new medium and make a big impact for clients. So these were agencies that were exclusively providing marketing and advertising on platforms like Facebook and Twitter. But after a few years, the vast majority of these social media only marketing companies closed and today they're nearly non-existent. And the reason is that the vast majority of products and services really need a full, well-balanced digital marketing approach to make a real impact. They need an intuitive, user-friendly website, solid search engine optimization, great content. All those things are essential components to digital marketing, including social media. And the truth is, in most industries, social media alone is one of the most ineffective ways to drive sales. And the reason is intent. Think about when you jump on Facebook or Instagram or another social platform. Your intent typically isn't to research or buy a product or a service. Your intent is to see fun and interesting content and to connect with friends or family. And because of this, People don't typically respond as well when they're sold to directly in a social post. In contrast, something like search engine optimization is more effective when going for direct sales. When someone goes to Google, their intent is to satisfy a query. It's, it's literally to search for some information. In most cases, we see our clients having vastly higher conversions on their websites when visitors come from Google versus when they come from Facebook. So should you cancel all your business's social accounts? Probably not, because social media does have a place and a purpose in marketing. Social media's strength is awareness. It's a great tool for getting your target audience to become aware of your brand, building trust, and sharing good content. And most businesses shouldn't expect huge sales through social media, but it is still a valuable step in the marketing funnel to build that awareness. So if we can help you be more effective on your social marketing, don't hesitate to reach out. We help companies with this all the time. Thanks, and we'll talk to you next time.